Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pete and Pete. This episode is number seven, called Day of the Dot. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is me, and this is my best friend, Ellen, and this is the Wellsville Fighting Squids Marching Band. Along with our fellow squid mates, we're proud to be in the band, even though we don't get too much respect from the rest of the school. The thing is, we just <coughs> don't care. I guess we were willing to sacrifice being cool because we love to play music. Besides, we were happy to be part of something bigger than ourselves. It may just have been the word squid, but it was big enough for us. That is, until one tiny little dot blotted out the happiness that we once knew and plunged me into a world of darkness. What the heck happened? <clears throat> yeah, we just saw that finally and got to see what they got the screenshot from. Super hot gas called plasma. It all began, like most important things in life, to confine in science class. Plasma, deuterium, and tritium at the appropriate conditions of temperature, Mass. density, and energy confinement. A few moments later. Anyway, I was saying, I remember those days when like, you had to watch those like tapes that they made back in like the 60s and 50s with that guy. Today, we ha here we have Bobby. He woke up today and he saw his friend, he looked at the window and saw his friend Susie was outside playing. And he got weird feelings in his private, in his groin area. Oh, don't worry, Billy. Those are just called hormones. You're it's supposed to be the feeling I get, but don't you act on them. Oh, you're going to hell. Anyway, man, I didn't say the last part, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, rant over. Deuterium and tritium nuclei will join together or fuse. <clears throat> Think of it, Pete. Two separate atoms come together and create something that's bigger than both of them. It's like they need each other to fulfill their destiny. Each deuterium. Uh, yeah. The other thing I is weird. Looking back at this show. And like you're like thinking like oh that girl's cute cute but then you're like wait I'm old. How you doing? All right. Can you have a seat over in that chair, please? Beth, please sit down. Put your hands up, Tom, so I can see them. What are you doing here? Just coming to meet somebody. But that's gross. But then also by that time period, I was a lot younger than she was, so it's okay. It's kind of weird time travel thing. I don't know. Wow. I never thought of it that way. Attention. Attention. This is band director Marco. All marching band members report to the band room on the double. This is not a drill. Okay. Maybe Ellen and I were like a couple of hydrogen atoms, destined to combine into a helium isotope. But I guess I just wasn't ready. If I had been, Maybe this whole disaster would never have happened. <clears throat> Destiny knows where we live. None of us really took Mr. Markle too seriously. 
I mean, he was a Nimrod, but he was always <laughs> kind of a harmless. A Nimrod. Thing. At least he was until the day that letter came. <clears throat> I can record it. Here. I have here our official notification as finalists in the regional championship. Now, I don't know how you squids did it, but I do know this. In two weeks, I am going... Oh, oh, we are going to make Wellsville history! It had always been Mr. Markle's dream to win the state championship. Back in 67, he had a squad that should have won it all. But he forgot to He's a big the dude for a math music teacher, yeah. And they were disqualified. <clears throat> After that, he was never quite the same. I've been working on a new formation. It was based mostly on the final battle plan of the Crimean War and involved two maneuvers that hadn't even been invented yet. Even more radical was his daring decision to change our typeface from the traditional oh. Helvetica to Roman Gothic. Whoa. Can he do that? There's some changes in the lineup. That's nice. Tucker, you're on top of the queue. Bronson, you're yeah, on middle D. Leo looking wannabe. And Markle Jr., mm. I want you on top of the I. And finally, oh. Ellen Hickle. I've been watching you work. I like what I see. Come next Saturday, you are dotting the I. been chosen to ride the eye. Do you have what it takes? Yes, sir. We were all happy for Ellen. It was a big honor. As any band geek will tell you, without a great dot out there, it didn't have diddly squid. With the dot in place, nothing can stand in our way. Mm. Follow me, my squids, and you will be part of something bigger than you've ever known. Total, full, frontal victory. That was kind of wrong, bro. <clears throat> By the end of the next day, the band began to break down into two different factions. Nice. Those of us who were in it just for the fun. Try to jump with that too, those, buddy. Like Markle's buttweed nephew, James Markle Jr., who were in it for the glory. Uh -huh. Go, dog face. Move it. There's always somebody like that, even in band. And the weird thing was. All of a sudden, it was hard to tell which side Ellen was on. My lips feel like warm cheese. Mine feel like smushed grapes. But you know what they say, Pete. No pain, no gain. Eh. Let's do it again. Yes, sir. I wanted to talk to my brother to get the Pete perspective on things, but he was having problems of his own. What's going on with Pete? Please refrain from smoking and hold your questions till the end. It seems his school bus driver, Stu Benedict, was going through a tough time because his girlfriend, driver Sally Canorp, broke up with him. According to legend, they fell in love in school bus school. But as soon as things got serious, they ran into a dead end. It seems driver Stu had a little trouble expressing his Hey, truth. wait a minute. Isn't that also the crosswalking guy? Like I don't, I mean, I don't. Maybe he looks looks like him, but it looks like the same guy, but different angles. So unless he just does two different jobs, but he can do both. I don't know. Maybe it isn't, but he looks like the guy. If you remember that episode back, the cross New, uh, New Year's Pete, with the cross guard uh, incident. He this guy looks like him. He kind of looked like Paul Rudd a little bit too. But Paul Rudd, I don't think he was. He wasn't that old to be. He wasn't old enough to play this part yet. Romantic feelings. He tried to forget her, but he couldn't. Instead, he began driving all over town, giving his passengers a guided tour of his shattered ruins. Uh. What was once a 10 minute bus ride now dragged on for hours. What? Over here on your left, that's where Sally dropped a scoop of pistachio swirl. I picked it up, I wiped off the gravel. And I put it back on her comb. To try and help, Pete offered some friendly advice. Deal with it, Dipwad. Take us home. But Stu was too far gone to listen. Coming up next, the, the hardware store work. We used to buy our weather stripping. 
Meanwhile, things at fan practice were starting to get a little out of control. Breathe deep, my squid. Oh. Work those lungs. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I was going to say, that's what I was thinking. Like, to help get, build your lung muscles. I'm telling you, Pete. Markle's wigged. His winning thing has warped his brain. Markle says my duck feet are against regulation. If I can't angle him in 16 degrees, I'm out of the band. This isn't why we joined up. Maybe we should talk to him. Count Ellen out. What? I mean, take a look for yourself. She's partners with James Markle Jr. now. Oh my god, the freaking head swivel. <laughs> They're partners? Yeah, I meant to tell you. But I guess I didn't want to upset you. What? I couldn't believe it. Ellen and Markle Jr.? What could yeah. she possibly have in common with that chunk down. head? Dropping <laughs> below at this. Ellen? Professional stuff. When I look at you, you know what I see? A dot. Oh, well, I've been under a lot of pressure lately. No, no. A dot inside. I don't like the rest of these clowns. Who does Rob Lowe want to be? You could be a champion. <clears throat> Let me help you be the dot you were always meant to be. Uh, he helped her all right. As the days passed, she became more and more consumed with achieving a state I am a dot. of total dot -ocity. I am a dot. What? I am a dot. I am a dot. What I am a dot. I am a dot. I am a dot. Your brain broke? Then he set out to forge a psychic brain meld so they could stay perfectly in step and telepathically bridge the gap between the dot and the rest of the eye. Hi. Hi, Pete. What are you doing? Going over the third movement of the Prussian battle hymn. James Jr. says that instead of drums, the percussionists used to use live hand grenades. Neat. What? Are you coming over later? I can't. James Jr. and I have to practice. Well, thanks for being a good sport, champ. Oh my god. Oh, that tweet. He just has a, he's a dorky jock, too. He looks so nerdy. I had seen enough. It was time to remind Ellen what Ben was supposed to be and get her away from James Markle Jr. Even dorky guys. Even My plan wasn't guy. based on the Crimean War or anything, but I liked it. Everyone knew but Ellen and the Markles. On my signal, I got the horn section to play Love Roller Coaster yeah. by the Ohio Players. Hey! Maybe it's just live. Hey, that's been the thing to be open too. Hopefully, maybe they, it won't give me copyrighted for playing this. I knew this song would attract Hardy, the strongest man in the world, like a giant funk magnet. And sure enough, it <laughs> music of the gods! <laughs> music of the gods! <laughs> By the time Hardy began song. dancing the voodoo crispy, Markle's spell was broken. <laughs> when I saw Ellen laugh, <laughs> I knew everything was gonna be. There we right. go. She's back from the dark I side. I know it wouldn't. She even had like. As Artie launched into the diesel jerk, Marco was busy formulating a diabolical scheme to regain control of the band and snatch Ellen away from me. But the blur from the, the obviously this is uh, tape uploaded, which is still cool. But the quality's gotten better every episode. I found better quality ones than the first ones I found. But anyway, regardless. Um, <clears throat> the blurred, I thought it was like, I'm like, they wouldn't have that. And my brain was like, wait a minute, they didn't kind of do that kind of stuff in the 90s with the, uh, the blurred, like when he's like cousin. I thought it looked like he was going, blah, 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 blah. but it was just like him. But it was like, and then with the sinister music and the, <clears throat> the slow pan, the slow pans, not low pan, the slow pan. Forever. Next on Nick, it's the adventures of Pete and Pete, followed by All That. 
Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. And we're back. One day you'll look back and ask, what did my life amount to? What did I accomplish? You'll remember this champion. When you could have won a place in history. And you'll say, no. No, 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 no. My life meant nothing. One kid ruined the championship for all of us. And maybe I should punish only him. But you're a team. You march together. You practice oh, together. together. And now, thanks to him, you'll suffer together. Nice going, Pete. It kind of even sounds like. Yeah, thanks. Sounds like Joey Rosa. plan had backfired. Nice going, Pete. Yeah, fuck, that's what Even I expected. That's what Joey Rosa would say. Whatever resistance we had left had been completely drilled out of us. We were just puppets, and Markle was the vile puppeteer. I think it's a sinister. Man. I had to snap Ellen out of it before it was too late. I found her the Saturday before the championship, practicing the now legendary sliding S. Ellen? Ellen! We need to talk. They weren't us. I can't now, Pete. I'm having a problem with the belly curve. It's just... I haven't seen you in such a long time. I mean, seen, seen. The 90s were, people were I miss coats. you, Ellen. I'm just doing things together. Pete, the championship's in two days. Things are different. I'm a dot now. Yeah, well, whatever happened to just playing music? What happened to band being fun? Yeah. Ellen, what about those two hydrogen atoms? Two lonely elements needing each other to fulfill their, their destiny. Now look what you made me do. I have to start all over again. Pete, would you please go? I have to concentrate. Actually, with that clothes, look like Zach Morris from the side of that boat. So should... On your right, <clears throat> the factory that produced our hibachi barbecue. Sally loved vegetable kebab. I don't think it is the same guy. Meanwhile, Pete tried everything to try and derail Driver Stew's mm -hmm. misery tour. Me? Take the cash, crankbait. But nothing worked. Mm -hmm. Up next, the forest. A lot of money, man. How'd you get that money from, kid? As Pete got closer to the edge, I fell right over it. Thanks to a little push from James Markle Jr. You know, you've had this coming for a long time, Markle. Oh, shit. Yeah? You kipped up. Show me what you got. Man. Show me what you got. Stay in Stay in Shove fight? Yep, it's the old school shove fight, baby. Oh! Now as we get a sock. You know something, Red? You fight the same way you march. Oh. The same way you play. Oh. It's like a loser. Get him. Sock him. Come on. It was the worst day of my whole Pete. life. I was disgraced before the band. You threw a hook, man. Just a little pop. And then got up and like, come on. I know, I know, he's not that kind of fuck kid, but even if you're not a kid, that's when you stand up, like, you know, like, like, uh, Marty McFly from Back to Future, or, uh, <clears throat> you know, when he's like, uh, not Marty, when the father is like, hey, get your damn hands off that girl. And worst of all, I had lost Ellen for good. As for Pete, he had lost all hope of ever getting home. During the last stop for the evening, I'd like to point out the blinking red light where Sally and I once stopped. Oh. I recognize that guy though, but I don't. I thought about how I really felt about Ellen, 
and I realized that we were like a nuclear chain reaction that never got started. We could have exchanged neutrons and lit up the entire solar system. Instead, there was only darkness. By the day of the championship, there was nothing left to do but what Markle had programmed us to do. Win. This is the moment that decides it all. That separates the losers from the legends. Will your future be empty? Or will it be filled? Filled with a nickel-plated, hand-inscribed trophy. A destiny may know where you live, my squids. But will you be home when it comes over to play? Will you? Yes. <laughs> I can hear you. I didn't know it then, but as I marched towards the rest of my lonely life, another lovelorn man was hurtling towards the field in a shiny yellow school bus. My brother Pete had launched a plan to get driver Stu Benedict back together with his ex-flame, driver Sally Kimura, oh, and put a stop to the misery tour. He kid. asked driver Stu to... Show us the bleachers! We're me and Sally. Forgot our umbrella. But he was really leading Stu to the state championship, where he knew Sally was standing by uh, to pick wait, up a load of major That's uh, a... SNL, I think. Uh... I can't her name. Major Ryu. prettiest girl to ever wear a blue and gray uniform? Huh? Did I tell you about the only girl who could ever share my life? Let's do it. Good luck. Well, let me tell you about driver Sally Kenora. It is her. Somewhere in America. I can't think of her name right now. A girl better able to you, you can't keep her from handle a four-point U-turn. Victoria Jack? No, no, Victoria so Jackson is the other girl. Don't make my mistake. Get traction. Don't let love slip away. When love comes, you better pull over to the side of the road and open your door. Because nothing in this world matters more. Stu! I didn't know you felt that way. Sally? I, I, I guess I, I just was never able to say it before. May I, uh... Come closer. Is he gonna get out or he's gonna drive closer? Please. Oh, they're gonna get door to door and then open up and then I bet he's gonna walk out. Oh, maybe not. Sally, Knorr. I'm listening, Stu. Sally, Knorr. You are. Say it, Stu. Sally, Knorr. You are. My world! Stu! I just needed to know! Yeah! Oh, we're not freeze frame yet? Okay. <clears throat> Show it in the 90s kitchen? Oh, they are okay. Not, not because of that, because like... There's so many splendor things. Ten seconds! Seeing Driver Stu and Driver Sally, I knew what had to go, be done. Go, 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 go! Coaster baby, probably? <clears throat> Somehow, I had to show Ellen how I felt. It was the riskiest move of my life, but I had to do it. Mm -mm. The 
the best I'm gonna well trained, they had to follow. I wasn't sure I could uh, really pull uh, it off uh, without a diagram. I tried to remember <clears throat> our science film, so I could recreate the chain reaction we saw. You can't do this to me! Go for it, Pete. That's what you think, Hey! Time for some funk, baby! Ladies and gentlemen, the fighting squids have just made a formation never before attempted on any football field. It looks like... The sun! Oops. Somebody pitch me. I believe they're going to attempt a thermal nuclear fusion. A force that powers the stars. How do you know this? Uh, are you going to go for the kiss for everybody? You're nuts, bro. Don't do this! He's destroying everything we built together! There appears to be two heavy hydrogen atoms moving closer together. Dude, that's already freaking nerve wracking kissing a, a girl you like for the first time, let alone in front of anybody, especially not in front of the whole school. Holy crap. Pete's going. He's like, I'm going to go out. I'm going for it. I'm going big, baby. <laughs> They're reaching a state of hot plasma, ladies and gentlemen. Please stay in your seats. <laughs> I, I, you don't have to say, Pete. I know. Oh. We have fusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Okay, bro. He's out there swinging his balls around, man. Breaking formation had snapped the whole band out of Mr. Markle's full frontal <clears throat> mind warp. As for Ellen and me, we were finally joined into a new element <laughs> that was much, much bigger than anything we had ever known. We didn't know what the future had in store for us, but what did it matter? We fulfilled our destiny. Are oh, you crazy man? You didn't notice her? You must be blind It's all I do now Let's think about how She will be mine I couldn't stand up I couldn't sit down One look at her And I stumble around One look at her I get irrational she ties my tongue. <laughs> I saw her downtown. I had you for a second, huh? On a cloudy right, day. Right, 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 right. When she brought the sun, she's not a part of the scene. She don't socialize. Is the end of the episode of. Uh, what is the episode called? Oh, that's the wrong one. All right, well, anyway, that was the end of episode seven. I can't remember the title. That was the end of the episode seven. Double feet, feet double feature. <clears throat> or at least the back to back, at least. Is it like back to back? Like they did used to do on the old TBS uh, show. They made a time clip for you. Yep. It's like, it's a weapon one and leaves weapon two. Show it back to back tonight. A, a uh, TNT, 7 p.m. 10 p.m. East Island, whatever, you know. Anyway, that was it, guys. Much love. Aloha. Stay awesome. Just keep living. And much appreciate all the love I got in the one that I left. Well, the one, one or two videos before. I, didn't, I haven't had many views ever, so I appreciate it. Keep on trying. I think I finally got my audio issue down, so we'll be able to get rolling better and get in that camcorder so we can get some more. Uh, videos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get some more stuff back coming at you guys. Just stay awesome, much love. So much love. Stay awesome. Just keep living. And more out of
Later, dudes. Hell yeah.